Hi guys, so it's the 26th of January and I thought I wanted to start Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. As you guys know, I have been vlogging my experience reading these books for the first time and I thought I'd carry it on. This is also going to fall into February's a year of fun, most likely, so you get a vlog for both the occasions as usual most likely going to have spoilers um so only watch if you've if you've read which i think is the vast majority of the planet to be fair um i will probably start this later on tonight just because i've recently just finished today like maybe an hour or so ago fierce fragile hearts by sarah sarah bernard or sarah bernard i never know which one's sarah and which one's sarah so i do apologize and that left me and that left me pretty emotional. Yes, I'm aware my buns are completely asymmetrical. I'm going through it right now. My mind's all like a tizzy with the last book I just read. And I thought, you know, whilst I'm vulnerable, I might as well start something else to sort of maybe help me. I don't really know. But it seems like I'm not feeling the desire to pick it up just yet. To be honest, I just want to watch American Horror Story Apocalypse and... I don't know, get some other emotions, probably fear going on me right now. Um, and then, as I mentioned, I'll most likely pick this up later on today. Possibly tonight, once I come home from food shopping, we're doing it on a Saturday, which is very not normal for us. We usually do it on Fridays, but that would, it didn't get happened. It didn't get happened? Wow. It didn't happen yesterday, basically. Um, so yeah, this is just my random little introduction to my Harry Potter 3 vlog. Um, and as usual, if I remember, probably will, I'll include my proper review at the end of the vlog, once it's all finished. Haha. <laughs> Also, I wanted to use the Forest app um, for this vlog. I have been meaning to try it for a while and I thought well, whilst I'm doing a reading vlog, might as well try it out. So it seems pretty cool. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera here. It's probably going out of focus. But it's one of those stay focused things. Um, let me read this. If you want to temporarily put down your phone and focus on what's more important in life, you can plant a seed in a forest. As time goes by, this seed will gradually grow into a tree. However, if you cannot resist the temptation of using your phone and leave the app, your tree will wither. The sense of achievement and responsibility will encourage you to stay away from your phone and will help you be make better use of your time. Stop getting distracted by your phone, become self-motivated and get more things done. So yeah, basically Chloe mentioned this to me last year sometime and I've been like waiting for the opportunity to use it. Also, my phone, I'm always like got lots of pictures on it and it takes up all of my actual phone memory storage i've been shifting stuff over to my md my md card my sd card so i thought let's do it so let's install oh shit what the, oops oops so yeah when i remember i shall be using this <laughs> So, I'm sitting there feeling like an idiot because I kept thinking Sirius Black was Severus Snape. Is that his name, Severus? I think that's his name, I can't remember. But I'm like, why are they talking like they don't know who this is? Like, he's the teacher. No, I, I just mixed up my names. This is a horrendous angle. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come and share my um, stupidity with the world that's what you do on the internet. So I've been at my grandparents all day and um, I was hanging out with my cousin Ebony. She bought her book that she was reading, which was, I think, a selection of Sherlock Holmes books. So we decided to throw it back to back in the day and read aloud like a couple of pages each to each other. Oh my God, we were cracking up. I think the fact, I think the fact that made it funny was that we were just proper scrutinizing the language, which is obviously very different to how most books are written today. And it was just, it was so overly descriptive, like we were enjoying it, but it was just, <laughs> we were laughing so hard. 
and then we were obviously talking about Harry Potter and everything and the, the I don't know the rivalry between Harry Potter and Percy Jackson and it was just so funny that we like came upon that conversation because I have obviously I was reading Harry Potter but the bookmark I have is a Percy Jackson one and then I was also talking about this shop online um, where I get Harry Potter teas but I also bought a Percy Jackson lip balm and it's like I don't mean to do this am I adding fuel to the rivalry I don't even know why there's a rivalry like they're complete different characters but we were just having good discussions about that anyway I am putting off getting to further on in this book because I know it's going to get to the point that the Quidditch match and I don't remember if I said this earlier but this was the first film that I actually watched from Harry Potter because back in the day it was the thing that my mum used to take my brother to you know see he read the books and I was like really left behind I was like I want to come along too so at that point this is the first one I remember going to and it scarred me for life because the Dementors terrified the life out of me um and I feel like the Quidditch game, if I remember correctly, because I haven't really watched the films in years and I haven't watched all of them and blah blah blah, um, but I'm pretty sure it's the Quidditch match where the snitch goes into the forest and the Dementors are there. And I never remembered why the Dementors were there in the first place, I didn't realise that they were Azkaban's guards. Um, so yeah, I'm worried because I'm pretty sure we're going to get to this actual scene sh soon and they terrify me. <laughs> they really, really terrify me. <laughs> Ah, I'm enjoying it so far, I read quite a lot, I only read 50 pages last night which isn't bad at all but I am now, from reading all day, at 185 so I'm quite happy with that <laughs> Just a little update but it turned out that wasn't the part I don't know if I'm remembering it incorrectly in terms of the film or if the film just did it differently but that wasn't, that wasn't then, they were all on the school grounds and it went kind of berserk um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm at the part on chapter, how do you pronounce it anyway, I, everyone always goes crazy over this, but I solemnly swear I'm up to no good or whatever, but the, is it the Morador's map, is that how you pronounce it, I don't, Morador's, I don't know, um, but yeah, they're talking, the teachers are talking about um, the night Lily and the other Potter died, Harry's dad's, what's his name? I can't, I can't remember. Lily and James, I think. Um, awkward. But why are the teachers talking about this in the middle of a crowded, like, bar pub thing with all the, the Hogwarts kids there? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they even be telling the bar person all this, like, information? Surely it would be, like, a level of... I don't even know, like, why are they talking about it? Why are they just discussing it casually? I don't know. Obviously, it builds the plot for me like it gives me some back backstory some context but it just seems like a random place and a random person to tell it to don't you think i don't know maybe it's just me hi guys so today i had a really good day actually with chloe and um we were just talking about like life and everything and it was just it got really intense we had like a meal and just chilling and chatting and stuff so Oh no, it's quite heavy subjects we were talking about. Then when I got home, I just wasn't in the mood to read, so I walked, watched some of my catch-up TV, finished off American Horror Story Apocalypse, and I've only just, like in the last 10 minutes or so, picked up my book to read. So slow progress on that today, but I'm hoping I really get into the swing of it and just kind of devour at least 50 pages or so um, tonight. Just a casual one, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll make a bit more progress tomorrow. Um, because we've got to go to a, me and my mum's got to go to an appointment thing and I'm expecting to be waiting around so optimal time for reading I hope <laughs> um, but yeah that's that's just my update for now um, I don't really have any major spoilery stuff to discuss with you guys yet this book so far as enjoyable as it has been it's not been like I don't know as fresh and as new as the other books were where I kept coming on and I was like oh my god this just happened blah 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 I don't know I just don't feel the need to express as much I hope that's a good thing I don't really know hopefully I still have thoughts and opinions once I'm finished it's just not impacting me as much as the the novelty of the first two books did I feel I don't know time to get this makeup off and get into some pajamas because then I feel like I can get super cozy and just devour my book <laughs> oh my gosh my face literally tingled and Hermione slapped Malfoy I almost forgot his name I was like yes and then Ron was just like I think she's I think he saw her in a complete different light and now he's like infatuated with her maybe a little bit <laughs> but anyway I've not got too much left of this to read so I hope to try and 
finish it today but why does my chin look so double oh my god that looks so horrendous anyway um yeah i hope to finish this today but we shall see i don't know how the day pans out so could do it also might not be able to who knows <laughs> oh, i cannot actually deal so i'm still reading it but ah oh, i forgot obviously i said before i I remember going to the cinema to see the film a bit and that but I don't remember too too much other than the Dementors which was giving me mild anxiety throughout the whole thing might I add but I can't believe Lupin's a werewolf I was like what and then this whole thing with the turnaround with Sirius Black and then the rat is Peter Pettigrew I cannot I'm like what <laughs> how is this I don't know what's going on okay I've just put it down they're about to explain everything I sort of was remembering that the rat was somebody, but I couldn't remember who. And I got confused because I kept thinking, is it Sirius Black? But then why hasn't he attacked? And silly little theories were in my head, but I don't... Ah! <laughs> so I've just read Lupin's explanation about the whole backstory with the friendship group. You know, the squad, the boys, Lupin, Pettigrew, Sirius, Potter, all of them gallivanting about and I can't help but thinking that that is some piping hot tea like damn son they got up to some mischief no wonder why Sirius really despises them but seriously Sir Sirius <laughs> Snape is what I'm trying to say seriously Snape there's too many s's seriously Snape come on holding a grudge much seriously this is so good though I'm really enjoying this like discovering you know answers getting all the answers that I wanted to know in this portion I'm really enjoying it um Snape's just walked in guns are blazing like in his invisibility cloak like bam bitch yeah that's why I don't like you holding his wand at the ready ready to do duel duel <laughs> he looks like he wants some some sort of justice we shall see I'm not long left in this world at all <laughs> I honestly need to pay better attention to characters' names because they seem to give away, like, secrets and plot developments. I mean, obviously Lupin was a werewolf. I'm just kind of reflecting on it now. Lupin, lupus, that's the, that's the word for wolf. Like, come on, Jen. I come from an animal management background. I should know these things. <laughs> um, again, nearly, nearly finished. Oh, I, that scene with them going back in time and everything, wow. I was starting to remember the scene from the film. Um, and I, I think I mentioned, I will mention in my review that I think it was more entertaining that way in the film, like seeing it rather than reading it, but it was still super, super interesting. But I find myself getting lost in the complexity of it, like thinking, but then when their selves going back again, come back, wouldn't it just be a cycle of them keep doing that, going back and back and back? I don't know. I, I don't know. I've got to just not think about that. Um, but yeah, oh. The ending is coming to a close. I will clock in um, when I've finished. And I'll probably save the review to after I finish the next book because I have a feeling that I'm, well, I have more than a feeling. I'm definitely going to be reading the next book for the A Year of Fun um, portion. So I won't start that until that week, um, I think. So yeah, <laughs> I'll do the reviews at the very, very end of this vlog, I'm sure. I've finished. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a four stars for me. I was kind of contemplating between a 3.5 and a four stars, but nah, I, I really did enjoy it. Um, although it wasn't as, I think it's just the excitement of the first two bo books had washed away for me a little bit. That was the only thing really um, that kind of got in the way, I guess. But it was not worth a 3.5. It's definitely a four stars for myself. So yeah, on to the next book. I've got so much vlog footage on here to edit from like other vlogs. Oh my god. Uh... Hi guys, so I thought I'd just jump back on here before I start the year of fun portion of this um, reading vlog. I was hoping it'd come in this time and it actually has, I'm so excited. So basically, um, my friend Lizzie tagged me in one of those, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but you know you have like a big poster and you scratch them out and it tells you what like classic book or I think it's a hundred books you should read in your life sort of thing um, and you scratch it off and it gives you the one that you need to read um, and I wanted to try that. I don't know if I'll make the most of it this year but I'll 
just carry it on until I eventually read all of them. And my friend Lizzie tagged me in a Facebook video of it. I'd already seen it floating around before and it's something that I really wanted to get but I never really decided to do it. But then, um, obviously I was kind of enthusiastic in the comments about it when my, I replied back to my friend. And they messaged me, they're from Trendiness. And they said, basically, um, if I... They realised I was interested in their product. They're giving away a 10% coupon code in exchange for a review. Um, and it's a review of like the little, I think it was the advert. Anyway, I tried my darn hardest to try and give feedback on the review through Facebook. And I kept messaging them and I was like, it's not coming up. I can't find it. And I was like, you know, talking to them and that. Bless them. They said basically I've earned it anyway because they can tell that I'm trying to figure out where it was. I think I was maybe annoying them a little bit because I kept saying, I don't know where it, I can't do it. Um, and it was already on sale anyway. So I think I got it for like £15. And then with shipping, it was like maybe... 20-ish or something and I thought I'd just do an unboxing just because you know the people them people them the people them sounded really nice when they were talking to me they're really helpful and it's kind that of, they just you know came up to me and was like you know you seem like you're interested do you want an extra money off for doing this basically so it's arrived it's in a long tubular thing trying to make sure I can't see my address let's give it an open I don't know where I should perch it. Oh, maybe here. I think that's, that's going to stay. <laughs> I think it's coming from America. That's why I was worried that um, it wasn't, I'm going to have to pay customs. But they just left it in my safe place because no one was in. But how cool is this? It says the Scratch Collective Modern Scratch Off Arts. And it's in a really cool um, little tube. It says read and it's got like Harry Potter glasses, like a a book like loads of different things throughout and I guess you pop this off oh this is so cool I wonder where I'll put it probably right by my um, bed what's this so <laughs> little scratch cards scratch to win just scratch the three dots to see if you're a winner so I'll probably do that later but this oh my god it smells amazing this is the poster I wasn't sure if it came with the frame um, but it seems to not obviously it just makes it easier on the shipping I guess so I can just find a frame if I was really that interested like an open frame can you get open frames I guess you can just put it in the frame hang it up and just take the glass bit out but this is how it looks how awesome is that it says 100 essential books scratch off bucket list and I love these ideas because I see them on like maps and it's a big colourful map and you scratch it off when you've been to certain locations and that and I think for books as an adamant reader it's just extra fun and it might make me make me read some books that I wasn't going to or maybe that I was intimidated like classics and stuff um, does it say anything over there it says in these pages you will find engrossing adventures, fantastic flights of fancy, heartwarming hero cycles and more. Take a journey through the classics such as The Count of Monte Cristo up to modern thrillers The Girl on the Train, I've already read that one, and expand your mind, turn a page, scratch a square and curl up with a hundred great books. How awesome is that? So yeah it does tell you the book, um, I don't know how well you can see that, sorry, on the um, thing so you know what you're reading it's not like a surprise um but you just scratch them off once you've read them so hopefully i'll have a, a few of these on here that i've already read um and i can get scratching when i'm ready very very excited oh and into the water i've read that one oh, i'm really excited so first of all thank you lizzie for making me enthusiastically comment back on something she tagged me in and thank you to trendiness for coming up to me and saying dude do you want extra money off and I was like of course I do <laughs> anyway that was really random next time I see you it shall be when the a year of fun vlog part starts hello there's a reason why I look and sound like shit I didn't realize it was this bad until I saw myself in the viewfinder but yeah basically before we even begun the Aerophon, which is the first day today, it's Monday the 4th, my progress has already been spoiled because I didn't get a chance to finish the book that I was currently reading. I was hoping to finish it on Saturday or Sunday, and I've not got too much left, but 
Saturday, I was babysitting my nephew and I just came over really ill. I started shivering and everything. Got home, it just got worse. I kept coughing through the night and it was just, it was horrible. Sunday, I couldn't really get out of bed. I was so, so weak. Mum was like, I'm gonna call you an emergency out of hours doctor appointment because this isn't right. And it's been annoying because I have been sick. This is the third time I've been sick since Christmas. And I was like, mm, that's annoying. And I thought it was the flu, just breaking it down into manageable clumps. But these aren't manageable clumps. Um, the flu jab is what I mean, because I had the flu jab this year or last year. And, um, oh God, I could just about get there. I was like trembling. I was sort of crying uncontrollably. And I finally got to the doctor's surgery. It turns out I've got a chest infection. So luckily my mum pushed me to get that doctor's appointment. Otherwise I would have just stayed in bed suffering even more. Um, I got some antibiotics and I started those pretty much as soon as I got home after collecting them. I still feel really weak, like my body is so pained up, like the bones and everything are in utter turmoil because I've been shivering and coughing, but I've also had like a fever so I've been overheating and it's my insides feel like, like they're ready to explode basically. Um, so yeah, hence why I didn't muster the strength to finish my book, but I'm hoping to finish it early today at some point so that I can start my next Harry Potter book, The Goblet of Fire, for the Aegerophon. Yeah. <laughs> so, wish me luck. It's going to be slow progress. I don't think I'm going to be filming much just because I'm really not well. I don't know if I'm going to have to cancel work. It's, the thing is, I work with children as well, so I don't want to spread the chest infection to them because they're quite young, do you know what I mean? Ugh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but hopefully the antibiotics kick in soon. <sighs> I feel like shit. <laughs> Hello guys, happy hump day. It is Wednesday indeed. Just thought I'd clock in um, to say, in terms of health, I'm feeling so much better. Like, the antibiotics kicked in probably on the Tuesday at some point in the day and I was just feeling more energetic I ended up like clearing out a load of um, nail varnishes a load of my hair stuff like hair bands and stuff I just had so much more energy um, I ended up watching lots of the originals um, the spin-off for the vampire diaries and I actually neglected reading a bit so as for the Aerophon it's not been going so good for me this week I just think where I read so much during January I almost burnt myself out and then because I was ill that gave me the, I guess, the excuse not to be able to read. I just physically couldn't. I was, I couldn't concentrate. Um, usually, reading like comforts me. It makes me feel better. Even when I have a migraine, sometimes that helps, which is strange. Um, but I just, I couldn't get back into it. So the fact that this is quite big, the font's tiny and it intimidates me. Probably didn't help. Um, but I'm literally only like page. Where am I? Thirty-five. No, 34. I'm on chapter 4, page 34. That's funny. And, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far, but nothing's sticking in my head. I don't know if it's just the remnants of being sick or whatever. Oh, my God, remnants. <laughs> Sorry, I read Skull Dugger Pleasant, Mortal Coil, remnants. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, the plan for today is Mum's got to get, like, an appointment at the hospital or something, so we're going there. I don't think I'm going to read a lot, so what I'm going to do is because I planned to get this up on a specific day, which was quite close to the end date of um, the Aguerophon, I'm still going to wrap this uh, vlog up, do my review of the other Harry Potter book. Oh, I should have left that out actually. <coughs> <coughs> and stick that on the end, but I'll have to come back with a part two for this vlog. And I don't know when that's going to come out because it's probably going to take me a good while to finish it because it's chunky. I just hope I get into this like the swing of it. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Maybe I just really need to be rid of this chest infection for me to properly focus. But right now, it's just not going good. The tone of this half of the vlog compared to the first half is completely different. Um... <laughs> I don't know, you can just completely see, see like a shift in the atmosphere, my tone, my mood. I'm, I feel like I'm so much more sombre here and people are going to be like going through a roller coaster of emotions throughout this vlog so I do apologise for dragging you with me. Um, but yeah, that's just like my update for now. 
I'm sure I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens before the end of the week. <laughs> so, I'm gonna use the forest app again for, I think I wanna do like two hours. Is that 120? I'll just put it all the way to the top. Yeah, there we go. I think when you spin it, yeah, it shows you how much the forest will grow. So it does seem to start over every day. I thought it would grow and grow and fill up the whole screen and that, like every time you keep coming back onto it. So yeah, it just grows, you know, as your time goes on. Um, I do like it, but probably I'll delete it after a while. Um, it's got sounds. You have to unlock things, which I think means purchase and stuff if you want other sounds, but can be quite relaxed if you're into that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and read some Harry Potter for about two hours or so. See if I can crack on some more in terms of progress with that. So yeah, the outside really helped in terms of fresh air, but I felt like all woozy. We then ended up popping around um, our friend's house just really quickly. We just bumped into her and she was like, oh, do you wanna come around for a bit? So we did. And I got home, I was like, oh, <laughs> I was drained. Hopefully it doesn't affect me tomorrow when I'm out um, at work and on Friday, so. <sighs> so after the advice of my mother, I thought it was best not to go in today, um, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to it, to be fair. I feel like I've been cooped up all week. Um, the effects of my cold, not cold, chest infection, um, although it's definitely calmed down by the antibiotics, I've been coughing and coughing and coughing uncontrollably, almost to the stage of like throwing up. And it's left me aching again, my head's starting to hurt. So I've had to call in ill. Hopefully I can be better for tomorrow, I really don't know. But anyway, I'm reading some more Harry Potter and a Goblet of Fire. I felt like, I'm finally at page 100, but I just felt like it's been dragging. Like the whole Quidditch tournament part just took forever. I'm, honestly, I'm not a big sport person. And I know this is like, wizard in sports but I usually like it but on the smaller scale of when they're at school doing it this tournament just felt like it was all they were leading up to and it was just it was too much and it kind of bored me but I finally got into it around page 60 I think um, and I can get my momentum and my you know my flow of the reading into it um, I'm looking forward to what's to come because obviously I've just remembered actually that Harry had that sort of vision of uh, Voldemort saying something's going to happen after the Quidditch match or whatever so I had completely forgotten about that and I was like oh crap what's going to happen <laughs> so a riot has broken out um Harry and his friends have found themselves amongst like sort of wizards um and they're all like aiming their wands at him and I just thought it was at first I've just kind of read a little bit ahead and I know it's not but I thought at first it was is it Belaru the Strange, I can't remember, but um, the Helena Bone Carter character, are they in this book yet, or not? I, I don't know which book they come in to play, and I only briefly recognise them from like clips I've seen, I don't actually think I've seen the film they were in, but yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it now, the action, like action in terms of danger is happening, which sounds crazy, and a little bit hostile, but this is making me, I don't know, excited to see what happens. I had a feeling Winky might have found Harry's wand. I don't know why but when she ran I thought she was going to come towards them and like give it to him or something but no and now she's been found with it and it's got the dark mark. We will find our souls begin to intertwine your heart of gold so pure divine and I
I ended up going to work today. This is the worst way to talk ever. It's so awkward. I feel so much better. Oh my god, I've nearly finished my antibiotics. Um, good times, good times. This mask, oh my god, it's so thick in terms of like texture of the mask and the actual gel. Oh, ge not gel, sorry. And it's not like a thick gel. I mean, like, it's a thick amount of quantity. There's so much liquid on it. And it feels so nice. It smells like oranges or something. Oh my god, I love it. I've been really enjoying these masks, and I don't think this one's gonna um, ruin the streak, so to speak. Um, this one's probably gonna be just as nice as the other ones from the Soap and Glory range that I've been using of late. Um, I've been talking about them in vlogs, I'm sure. If not, I've always got like a random face mask highlight on my Instagram if you want to check out what sort of skincare I'm using if I don't mention it in videos. But in terms of Harry Potter, no progress again. I'm currently on page 168. Everyone's getting excited about the prospect of the Triwizard Tournament. I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's about. It sounds scary. Sounds a bit alarming to be fair, the fact that there were deaths in the past. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing how that all unfolds. I doubt I'll get to that section within this week, but I think I'm vlogging a couple of days after the week's over anyway. Um, and then as long as I've got like a day to edit the video and get it up on the date that I wanted to, it should all be good. So yeah, I'm just going to chill now for the rest of the evening, I'm really, really tired. My skin's obviously been playing up because I've been ill all week, but the week before that I was wearing makeup pretty much every day. So I just, I really wanted to do some skincare, just to nourish, re-moisturise the skin. Um, but yeah, as I say, I'm just going to relax, I'm watching the originals on my tablet. Just chill, so I might not come back this evening. Um, but already I love this mask, um, it's probably just going to make my skin really hydrated and plump like sheet masks usually tend to do, so yeah. There seems to be a lot of liquid left in the packet as well, so as usual, in case you're interested, I'll probably use that as my moisturiser in the morning for the next few days and nights, however long it lasts. But yeah, I'll catch you maybe in the morning, I don't know if I'm going to vlog in the morning, I've got the hygienist appointment, which I always feel like people may think I mean like body hygienist um, I don't know if that's actually a thing for a doctor to be but I mean like teeth your hygienist in your teeth um, yeah I've got that tomorrow and then I've got a few errands I need to do in town on the Saturday which is tomorrow so yeah I might catch you tomorrow might not who knows not me not this gal <laughs> see you in a bit <laughs> Hi guys, so it's the last day of the year for honor. I've been at my grandparents all day. I think I've probably read about a hundred pages, just over a hundred pages. Um, my cousin wanted me to read to her as well, so I was reading to her because she loves Harry Potter. Um, what was I going to say? This is probably going to be one of my last updates. I think for the rest of the evening I'm going to go and watch the third Harry Potter. Um, because I think that's what I've been doing after I've read the book, I've re watched the film, I don't really remember. But I'm going to check that out. I'm going to leave you with a review for Prisoner of Azkaban, as promised. But yeah, I mean, I'm just sorry that I didn't manage to finish the uh, Goblet of Fire, but I'm really enjoying it. They're doing the Tri Wizard Tournament, and they've done the first task so far, but yeah, it's great. Anyway, I want to show you something. Our neighbours had some furniture outside that they didn't want anymore, and we were like, can we have this? So, I've got another bookshelf. I think it's going to go in my brother's room when we tidy it out. It has been raining, so it's a little bit wet. But yay. Fantastic. Another bookshelf for my maddening collection. Good spot, eh, Mum? Yeah. I didn't think he was going to actually ask for it. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, well, look, they've got bookshelves. And he was like, shall we knock on the door and ask if we can have it? <laughs> Thanks. Please <laughs> that. Yeah, that's a good find. I think they're just decorating. There's nothing actually wrong with yeah, the furniture. The yeah, they're just doing up their house, I think, so. Yeah. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure, so they say. Definitely. <laughs>
Okay, so as for the review for The Prisoner of Azkaban, I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. You guys probably could have guessed from some of my thoughts throughout this vlog, sort of the general gist of how I felt whilst, whilst reading this book. I think one of the main things I've got to say is I really did enjoy this, however, I feel like the novelty and the excitement of the first two books that I was feeling kind of wore off, so I, it wasn't as enjoyable for me as the first two books in the series had been but it was still an entertaining read and I did enjoy my time during which I was reading this. I really loved reading about the exams sections of this. Um, I don't know about you but I've seen quite a few book tags where people have spoken about like the owls readathon and that sort of stuff and then Ute's readathons and I was like that sounds really interesting but I didn't really understand like what it was in context now having had first-hand experience reading from what those examinations are and what they mean in terms of the school curriculum i just find it really fascinating and i hope to take part in those readathons when they're next present in our realm i don't really know what i'm saying but yeah i loved hearing about the education um of the actual school of hogwarts in this book the threat to harry's life felt more real than ever in this book i just felt like there was more of um you know a mortality risk um, and I think that's down to the fact that the Dementors are present I remember back in the day when I had seen the film which I think was one of the first films of the Harry Potter franchise that I had seen uh, the Dementors terrified me as you guys would have known if you watched the whole of the vlog so I think just that as a concept was something that made me feel Harry was more in threat and more in danger um, but it just felt like one of those books that's you know you could feel it was getting more mature specifically um as they were getting older it did feel like more risk could happen um i don't know it just it just felt more scary um but yeah that's my review really really short actually for harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban thank you so so much for watching the vlog if you decided to stick around for the whole thing and also for this just gutting that i didn't manage to finish the um Goblet of Fire for the Ayerathon. I did good on it though. I, I managed to get to around 300-ish pages throughout the week, you know, despite being sick. So um, I'm glad that I got that progress. And if we were talking about generally a regular sized book, which is about 300 pages-ish anyway, then technically you could say I finished a book. But I, I'm just being silly. I'm just kind of dragging that out there. But yeah, let me know how you did in the Ayerathon. Let me know if you're excited for the next round of a year of fun if you're taking part and also let me know if you've been reading the harry potter books for the first time as well or just in general um your thoughts on this one the prisoner of azkaban i'd love to hear anyway yep i'm gonna go ahead and check out the film again now i'm dreading it um <laughs> those dementors get me every time but uh yeah i'll speak to you in another video soon bye